Everybody having a good time? Yeah! yeah. All right. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. First of all, I, 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 I certainly would like to uh, listen to the comments of the gentleman here and, and Bobby and the meetings that they had. Uh, and I'd like to thank the transportation and bus drivers and, and going out there. Really enjoyed uh, the meeting that they had and bringing attention to all the issues that was in place. I'd like to uh, thank all the honorees that have participated in this and the senator, how she presented them before. And that's it. All right. Now, I'd like to talk about. Hey, guys. On a job. Local tree over there. Oh! oh. Listen up. All right. I'd like to talk about a young lady. And you talk about a person that goes above and beyond for the community, for the education, and for the people what I have seen in a beautiful school of Elm Park, St. Dallas. According to the notes here and everything else, you could even read it. She served, and you wouldn't think of a princess, how beautiful she is, and served 18 years as a principal of St. Adolphus. And her credentials are beyond. I won't read them all, but they're here, and... Uh, she received a BA in English and education, and in 1988 received her MS in secondary education English, both from College of Staten Island. And Diana served many veterans, and I say that she does a Christmas that maybe she'll touch on every year for approximately 500, and she honors them. An ice cream festival, a buffet, which they just love. She also raises the dollars in the community for the Department of Police. And she is, she takes her job. She called me, she was worried about opening up the windows because with the Bayonne Bridge under construction, there was sort of a smell, and it's, it's only obvious there's an awful lot of diesel moving around. So she called me in, and they put the monitors, oh, they're still up there. Right, okay. She's worried about the children, and I know as a firefighter, former firefighter, that if you breathe in now, it bothers you maybe five to ten years down the road. So she moved in the direction, the proper way, made her reports. We called community board one. We let him know. I let the elected officials know what was happening in that area. And there is a monitor up there protecting the children and the community. And that's, that's what she does well. Why? Did we honor Diane? I walked in and I said, Diane, can we honor you? It's a political event. Are we allowed to do such a thing? And she said, yes, without even batting an eye. <laughs> without, yes, yes. Well deserved that she is to do the job to teach a beautiful St. Albert school and to stay open. It's not easy in the Catholic schools because they're closing schools. But her school 
is one of the best, and it shows the part that you cannot close, say the doubts. Now with that, Diane, come up forward, because if I don't stop, and you are much better to hide. That's how wonderful she is. That's the early day of the real boys that she really deserves. Thank you again, and God bless America. 